Hey everybody, this is Mike. Welcome back to my shop and welcome back to my channel, Z Motorsports. I um, appreciate you tuning into the video and the channel. And this is, we're going to call this uh, Shop Upgrades Number Two, um, which will actually be the first one in the new shop. But I started this kind of series, if you will, in the old shop under Shop Upgrades Number One. So this is going to be Shop Upgrades Number Two. And it's just putting the fishing touches here on my workbenches. Um, it'll be a quick video. Um, maybe build some doors for the couple of compartments. And uh, that's pretty much about it. So we'll uh, quit gabbing and get right on into the uh, build of the doors. I figured there's probably no sense in showing you how I cut metal. I mean, I'm not the sole homie. So um, I, just, I, just, I, just, I did, did, just did it the old traditional way and used a bandsaw. So, 23 and, or excuse me, 22 and 7 eighths and a 45 and these are 31 and a quarter. Again on a 45. So I'll just uh, set these up and lightly, lightly clamp them and check my uh, angles, make sure they're true 90 degree. square tubing together like this. I like to tack in the middle of the tube so that still gives you a little bit of movement this way. If you tack into a corner and you need to go away, you're going to end up breaking that tack or vice versa if you, might, if you tack out here on the outside corner. In the middle, I, you can usually get a little bit of movement if you need to manipulate it um, after, after uh, it's all pointed. So I, that's why I prefer to tack in the middle. All right, so uh, got my two frames done here, and I got the hinges on them. So I've got them all uh, kind of mocked up here. Kind of tuck it in the side here. So that's how they'll sit. Um, and I just have to, uh, I'm gonna paint them. I've got some of this hammered paint left. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them down and paint them and then uh, cut some aluminum to frame them and I'll probably just put some pop rivets um, around, I don't know, three or four per side and just put them around and then, uh, I don't know, more than likely, maybe, I'd like, maybe I'll get my bead roller out. I haven't used it in a little while and put a bead four or six inches inside of them. So, yeah, maybe, maybe a, probably four inches inside, I'll probably run a, a bead around it. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Here are both doors completed and ready to wipe down. And uh, see if I can zoom in a couple of these welds. These are ready to wipe down, throw some paint on them, and uh, put some aluminum skin on the exterior and mount them for the last time. One panel cut, I uh, 
Got the side panel here cut, pop riveted on. Now I'll move on to the two doors. I'm really pinched for time. I got a couple other pr things I need to get done tonight. But, to be honest with you, I got to get a little creative on this. So I came in four inches all the way around the perimeter, um, found a, about a two and a half inch uh, diameter to put a radius on the corners. And I'm going to get a little creative here. The trick on these is to not stop on the turns. You want to make it in one fluid motion. You don't want to stop and tug and pull or you'll get little jagged edges on your, uh, on your turns. So by keeping the wheel moving and turning it, you'll get that nice, smooth, constant radiance. You won't hit any of these. So, okay, I'll uh, go set this one and see how she looks and start pop-ready it. Compartment doors finished, installed. And all my crap hidden behind a nice compartment door. So kind of get an angle there. You can kind of see the step that was um, turned into it. So stand back and we'll uh, get a broader view. Looks much better. Looks like it's actually finished now. Walking over to the other one, you can see I can close the side over here as well as the uh, compartment door on the uh, bench there between the toolbox and the lathe. So, okay, another project crossed off of the list. Plugging right along here, the shop's starting to actually look finished now. So you can see there's my lathe. Along this is along the 40 foot wall, long wall, so I got into the corner, I got my lathe, six foot bench, toolbox, 12, 12 foot bench, and then my 10 foot bench goes that direction. Well, hey everybody, uh, that concludes uh, shop upgrades number two. I appreciate everybody for uh, tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for taking the time to watch. I uh, think the compartment doors all turned out pretty nice. So uh, hopefully they'll uh, be ready for years of use. And being as how they're just uncovered aluminum, I think they'll clean off nice. I'm sure I'm gonna drip stuff on them. I'm lifting things over the bench and one thing another. I'm sure they're getting little drips here and there, but I think they'll clean off nice just a little bit of you know, just a, some cleaner and a rag, and uh, hopefully they'll provide years of service. So, again, thank you very much for watching, and um, I appreciate it. I welcome the comments. If there's anything else you'd like to see, um, go ahead and feel free to uh, comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.